Today on Secrets from the Studio, we are going to talk about surprises. And boy, was I surprised many years ago when I invited a well-known motivational speaker who's also a Christian to be my guest on The Bridges Show. It was right at the top of a new year and she was going to share helps and tips for starting the new year outright. It sounded great. My first surprise was when she walked in the lobby of the studio and I noticed that she was wearing a black dress and her accessory was a feather boa that was black. And you know, I know that we all have different uh, fashion styles and so forth, but it really looked more like an evening uh, outfit rather than live Christian TV talk show that was live in the morning. But you know, we've got different fashion styles, so I thought it's fine. We'll just go back to the studio. It'll be fine. So when we get back there and we get situated, you know, usually before in every interview, there's a, a little bit of conversation just so I can get to know the guest just a little bit better and make her or him, you know, help them feel more comfortable. So as I get in my seat and she sits in her seat, I notice that she turns her face exactly the opposite direction. Like she's looking away from me instead of looking at me. And I can't figure out why that's happening, but I figure, you know, probably just give her a minute or so and she'll resituate and look at me. But that doesn't happen. So in my own Monica Schmelter way, I say, you know, um, it really works out best if you turn and face me and if we make eye contact during the interview, like that's how it looks most natural and looks like a conversation. And so she doesn't immediately turn herself around, but she does eventually. And when she looks at me, she says, well, you know, I was looking the opposite way because that's my best side. And I thought, really? I thought that's your best side. Like someone, please tell me this is not happening. This is like all a surprise, but it was happening and it was live TV. So I just needed to make the best of it. And so to this day, I could not tell you what tips or hints that my guests offered to make it a great sparkly brand new year. But I do remember what I learned about surprises. <laughs> And that's that you can count on that they will happen. You may not be able to stop them from happening. You might not be able to anticipate what's going to happen, but we can all do our best, the best that we can at the time that it happens and somehow, some way, it all works out. So I don't remember her tips. I don't remember how to start the new year out better from that guest, but I will always remember the guest that wore the black feather boa on bridges and i will see you next time right here on secrets from the studio